Hello, and welcome back to another Holiday House Tips. Today, we're going to be um, sharing some tips with you about what you can do if you have an inflatable with one of these small, these small black motors, if, it, if the motor stops working. Now, keep in mind, if, um, these small black motors come in dip several different sizes, but they all use this uh, power adapter. It's like an AC-DC converter. And um, uh, other inflatables come with those like big white motors that like have their own stand and they stand on the ground. Um, those don't use LED lights. I think that's why these ones use a power adapter because they use LED lights. But anyways, this power adapter is another source of failure for these inflatables and I think for these motors I should say and I think that's why in our experience these small ones fail more often than the big white motors um but before we get started with this I actually made a short video yesterday about one solution that might work for um a motor that stops working so I'm going to cut to that right now if you have an inflatable with one of these small motors and it won't start you could try this And now it's working. And we're back. Um, we're not exactly sure why that little trick works sometimes. I mean, maybe something's loose and you're like getting it back together. Maybe the fan and the motor um, gets stuck, so you're shaking it loose so it starts spinning again. We're not exactly sure why that sometimes works, but it does work sometimes. It does not always work. We have several um, inflatables that we've been using for several years now using that trick. So that's just something to keep in mind to try out first. And uh, it doesn't work always just a couple of shakes. Sometimes it might take 15, 20, maybe even 30 seconds of shaking to get it work. So you might wanna try it for a little while if, you, if it doesn't work after a couple of seconds. Now, if you plug it in, if that doesn't work and you plug it in and the light does not turn on, that most likely points to either something's wrong with the adapter or there's a wiring fault somewhere, like maybe a wire got cut somewhere or it got, it got corroded from the water. I'm not, you know, it could be a lot of things. Now, if the light does turn on, that most likely points to a problem with the motor and not the wiring, just the motor. I mean, these things don't last forever. Any mechanical thing with rotating parts are going to break down eventually, whether that's months, years, decades, who knows? But if the light doesn't turn on, it's probably the motor. The light does turn on, it's probably wiring or the adapter. Um, but also the light could just burn out itself. I mean, so these lights, I know they're LED, but they still don't always last forever. So it could be a coincidence that the light just happened to either be burnt out or the wiring to the light is a problem and the motor is a problem. It could be a lot of things. But let's, let's plug it in now and you can see the motor does not turn on and the light does not turn on. So that most likely points to a problem with the adapter. Now I just happen to have uh, an extra adapter here. Let me uh, try to get this loose. That would better in rehearsal. Anyways, um, we have another power adapter from a different inflatable. Now, if you're going, what well, you want to do, if you ha if you can, if you happen to have an adapter, an identical adapter, you can see these side by side. I don't know how well it shows up, and it looks pretty good. But you can see the model number is the exact same. A lot of these inflatables use the exact motor, the exact same motors. So you're gonna have the exact same adapters. Um, now, now you don't have to use the exact same model. This is just a happy coincidence that these are the exact same model of adapters, perfect. But you don't have to use the exact same model, but you want to make sure that this, the input and output, the input is 120 volts, 60 Hertz, 0.45 amps, the output is 0.6 amps. You wanna make sure that matches if you're going to use one that's not the same model. See, this has a higher input and a higher output. You don't wanna use this because that will probably ruin your motor. If, if, it's, if it's not already ruined, if you, don't match those, if you don't match those, you probably will ruin it. So keep that in mind if you try to use a, an adapter that's not the exact same model, but here we do that exact same model. This is the broken one. This should be the one that works. See if I can do this one-handed. I cannot sort of stand or something for my phone. 
But anyways, now let's plug it in now. The exact same decoration, just we just changed the adapter. And look, now it's blowing up. And it's hard to see because the light is dim, but the light is on now. So, and there you go. Um, now, if you try another adapter and the light doesn't work and the motor doesn't work, it's probably something wrong with the, the power cord. I mean, it could either be in here, maybe it's cut or nicked somewhere. You guys should check it, the cord. You see if it's cut or nicked. You can open up the inflatable here and see if there's any cuts or nicks on the core on the inside that goes into the inflatable to the motor and the lights. Um, now, if, if the lights work, but the motor does not, again, that's probably the motor. Um, so you need a whole new motor. And then now, now, so that's the good news about if you get it working with a different adapter that you know what the problem is, it's, it's the adapter. The bad news is, depending on the adapter you need, because like I said, these adapt these motors, even though they look similar, they there's a whole different whole bunch of different kinds of them. Um, it could cost you anywhere between twelve, fifteen, up to thirty dollars or more just for the adapter. So this decoration, for example, only costs us fifteen dollars brand new. It's several years old now. I mean, would it really make sense to spend twenty dollars or more to fix an inflatable that only costs us fifteen grand new? We can go out and buy a brand new inflatable. I mean, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Now, some of these inflatables um, could cost $100, $200, and they use these bit, they use these um, these small black motors. In that case, $100, $200, you only invest maybe 30 bucks to get it fixed. That's probably worth it. And um, the, the crazy thing is that the last time I looked, maybe it's different now, but if you bought the motor and adapter, to, like you just want to replace the motor, it comes to the power core and adapter usually, that usually about the same price, about $20, $30. So if you need the, um, so it's a much easier fix if you just need the adapter, but it's going to be a couple of dollars more if you need a whole new motor. Now the motor is not really that hard to um, replace. There's usually a, 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 a zip tie, keep this all together right here. You just have to pull this fabric back cut the zip tie and pull the whole thing out, pull the motor out and put the new motor in there. It's, and then zip tie, it, zip tie it in there to make sure it stays there so it doesn't come loose or anything. Um, you you might not be able to use the lights in it if you do that. The, some of the motors come with lights so you could just you could just actually pop this out. This like little button here, put, take, take the old lights out, put a new light in there, put, put, put the button back in there and it works just fine. Some of them don't come with lights. In that case, you. So a lot of these decorations do look fine without lights, so that might not be a deal breaker for you. But again, if it's just the adapter, that's the easy fix. Just get a new adapter and plug the new adapter in, no problem. So, yeah, so like I said, sometimes it's just a motor, you're gonna replace a whole new motor, it just depends. But um, uh, that's all I've gotta say about this video. I hope everyone found it useful. See you next time. Actually, I almost forgot, one more quick tip. Um, it, if the motor is not moving, you can try getting like a small screwdriver or a stick or something. And you see the fan blades in there with, with the inflatable turned off. Just try to spin that, um, the fan blade a few times to, again, to see if it's maybe just stuck. This has worked for us a couple of times. It doesn't work all that often, but sometimes these fan blades do just get stuck. Like maybe a, a stick is in there and it, it, it's, it's caught in there or maybe it just, uh, whatever the reason could be. Maybe, maybe ice is forming in there. Just try to move it manually with, with something to get it unstuck and then try plugging it back in. As long as, it move, as long as you can move it freely a few times, then try again and that might actually be the problem. Okay, I think now that's it. See you all next video.